Bonjour and welcome to Alexis Review. I hope you're all fine and today we will be talking about uh, Joaquin Matas Las Cinco Cartas Rojas which is a take, his take on the classic homing cards by Fred Capps a routine where five cards are used and it can be used in parlor settings close up actually but parlor settings and of course stage uh, this is actually a great product so let's dive in What is homing card? The idea behind it is that you show five cards and you tell them that they are all red. In fact, you have four red cards and an indifferent card, in, in this case a joker. So people will say, ah, uh, you have a joker, you don't have five red cards. You say, okay, you put away this card and you say, no problem, we will use the four red cards. And when you spread the four cards, you only have three red cards and again a joker. So people will complain again, so you remove it and so on and so on until you have one red card left and it changes in, uh, in the air for a joker. This trick can be bought in the link in the description. It is uh, sold at 35 euros actually. So it's very inexpensive, I think, but I will talk a bit more about that. And uh, there is a, a booklet, everything you need to know for the explanation inside. Before opening the box and showing you what's inside, feel free to subscribe to this channel because it helps a lot uh, if you mind to take your time to just click on the button and maybe on the bell, it will help me a lot for the future reviews. So inside of this little box, which is actually amazing, I think it's, it's really great, I love the, this artwork. It's, it's very, maybe, um, but it's very Spanish in the, in the feeling. Um, he is he's using a rider back design. I'm not sure that um, that this is uh, like produced by Bicycle, but I don't think so because I've never seen the, ta the the cards inside sold by Bicycle. Inside you have a little booklet with some drawing and at the back you get some QR codes in order for you to watch the demonstration, the live performances. And uh, I, I don't know if they are live actually, but I think, no, they are studio performances and you get a video explanation in English too. So this is great. I love the fact that it's a booklet. So if you don't have any co internet connection, you can still check it out. And if you don't want to be influenced by the style of Joaquin, you can uh, just read the booklet and uh, use the cards with your own pattern and own presentation. Speaking about the cards, um, they are great. They are, they are actually very interesting. The size is not a regular size. I have a regular bicycle here, so I can show you. The, the color is, is pretty spot on. And uh, if you look carefully, you have the two sides here and on the front like this. So this is not a jumbo bicycle because jumbo are, are not the same uh, size as, as those ones. And um, they spread really well. I think if you look, you can spread them very easily. The gimmicks or the way they are gimmicked is uh, very interesting. It's a classic method, but used as... Um, it's not the classic uh, version of the method if it makes sense. Uh, the cards are, are really, really well made, as you can see. And uh, honestly, for the price asked, which is $35 at, uh, approximately, I think that this is a great product and the quality is really, really good. Let's go for a small demo of the trick. So I will use this frame because I think it's better. So. Uh, this is called the five red card tricks. It's not because they're re uh, they're red on the back, even if they they are. So you get uh, five cards. It's because they're red on the front. So let me show them to you. That's that's I think very important to to show you that I have one, two, three, four red card and one red card again. No, it's a, it's a joker. So I can't lie to you. So maybe we remove that. Okay, we take it out. Okay, and we have the four red card trick. Okay, it, it works with four cards. Don't worry, guys. So the idea is to show you the four cards again. So I have 
One red card, okay. Two red card, okay. Three red card and four red card. Okay, now you don't have four red card. I have three and a joker. So, um, okay. Let's let's just get rid of this joker, okay, guys. So we'll do the three red card tricks. It works perfectly. The three red card tricks is amazing. Again, let me show them to you. So I have one red card, two red card, and th okay, 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 it's a joker again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. You know what? I have a, an amazing trick I can do uh, if I remove the joker. So it's called the two red card tricks and you can't go wrong here because you only have two and that's amazing you have a nine of diamonds and you have a six of diamonds okay that's a, uh, uh, okay uh, so so if i don't look the cards when i look away it turns into a joker okay no problem so i remove the joker and i will need a bigger frame for this one so here i have a nine of diamonds and if i throw it in the air two or three hundred times it will turn into a joker. I will really do it because of the watch time for YouTube. No, I'm joking because if I do that, you can have a joker. And this is not the five red card trick, it's the joker card trick. I hope you like the demonstration. Um, I'm not the best at performing stage magic, but I hope uh, I give it a fair shot. And um, well, I hope I didn't flash, but that's that's okay. Uh, see you for the pros and the cons. Let's start with the cons. You have to be careful about your angles. Uh, it's not something very big as an issue, but for some of the routine, you have to be, well, faces of the routine, sorry. You have to be careful on people behind you. Not a big deal because you can still take the card and put it toward your chest so you're covering a bit better the angle, but take that into consideration. Also, if you have dry ends like I do, sometimes uh, you, will, um, th th you won't have uh, enough grips, enough grip, sorry, on the card so that you can perform the moves. So I uh, encourage you to, to use a moisturizing cream, moisturizing, I don't know how it sounds in English, but I think it's awful, but okay. Uh, so you, your hands are a bit, a little bit more wet and you have some grip in order to grip the card a little bit better and do the proper moves. Apart from that, let's go into the pros. I love this trick. Actually, this is, there is many things, many good things to say about it. First, the cards. The cards are amazing and I, I hope they release a deck like this because this is like a parlor, between parlor and jumbo size and I think it's the perfect size uh, that it can be seen from a long distance and still it doesn't take up much pocket space when you're performing in it. Honestly, Joaquim, please release, release a deck of cards like this because uh, I think many of us will buy it. And the, the quality is really amazing on this one. I didn't speak about the reset, but here all the cards are laying down on the table. Of course, you can put them in your jacket, but to, uh, I will reset in front of you, okay? So please start whenever you want, go, okay? So that's it, that's it, that's it. And I'm reset, okay? So the reset is like 15 seconds, maybe. And I'm, I'm ready to do it again. So this is a great way of uh, performing the trick again because now I'm fully reset for the trick, which is amazing. I love the fact that uh, this can be used in many situations. It can be used close-up, parlor and stage, which is a very nice thing because the card can be seen from a, a distance. Look, I'm far away and you can clearly identify which card is which. And also it can be used both for adults and children. And I have rarely see a trick, a card trick, close-up parlor stage that can be used for children and adults. Because of course, when you present it to children, they will say, no, you don't have five red cards. Look, my my uh, imitation of, children's, uh, of children is awful, but okay. Uh, you have four red and you have a joker. And they, you can play with them, of course. And I think the more you, you play the serious magician, the, yeah, I will be performing, okay, the five red card trick. And uh, I think it could be a fun um, like opposition of style and I, children just love it. 
it's actually very easy to do. The only thing I would suggest is that if you don't do it for a long time, uh, you have to read a bit again the method before doing it again. It's those kind of tricks that if you don't perform it for a long time, sometimes you forget a bit the method and uh, you have to like take five minutes just to reread a bit the, the, the booklet to get Okay, so this is phase one, phase two, phase, but it's very easy to do. I really liked this trick. This trick is amazing and I think that uh, for the price and for the space it takes, it should be in every magician or mentalist uh, that wants a quick and easy, like uh, 10 minutes or five to 10 minutes on stage or parlor. I think it's great. I'm not sure I will put it in my act because I have something a bit similar with like the six card repeat, which I found very interesting. And I don't want too many effects that are looking the same, but I have to give it three and a half hertz out of four. As for the difficulty, honestly, the, it's very, very easy to do. Of course, you have to practice, but you can do it. So two stars. Similar product, you have Homing Cars, the original by Fred Caps. I don't know if you can buy it anywhere, but if you have any other version of this trick, feel free to put it in the comment section. This video is now finished. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you liked that trick. Uh, feel free to subscribe, to follow me on Instagram, go on Facebook and ask any question in the comment section. I will help you as much as I can to uh, with, with your concern or your question. So see you soon. Au revoir